Hey, hello everyone. Back again for another video. What do you know? When you have the time, you're able to get in front of the camera here and do some stuff. And uh, you may notice, well, you may not notice based on the uh, height of my camera here, I am wearing a pretty cool British Invasion Peter Noon t-shirt, which I just got. This is my newest t-shirt in the collection. And the reason I show you that, folks, is because I recently had the great privilege of seeing Herman's Hermits starring Peter Noon in concert. Folks, it was fabulous. I've seen Herman's Hermits over the years several times, way back in the 80s when Peter wasn't with them, and you had Derek who was with them, and Barry, the drummer, was with them. You had two out of the original uh, five members. Uh, but they were opening for the Monkees, they were playing with Gary Puckett and the Union Gap, um, you know, artists like that back in the 80s. And I saw them on their own a couple of times. And even though Peter wasn't with them, they still put on a great show. I still loved it and enjoyed it because I love the music of Herman's Hermits. I admit it, folks. I'm a sucker for their music. I love all the British Invasion music. But Herman's Hermits have always had a special place in my heart. I mean, unlike the Beatles, the Stones, the Who, and the Kinks, those four from the British Invasion seem to transcend time space and decades those four bands were able to change to morph evolve grow with the time so to speak and they sustain till this day as far as you know in the case of the stones and the who they're still out there doing it uh, the kinks were doing it up until the mid 90s we can only hope that maybe the kinks will get back together and certainly the beatles need i say more the way they've transcended everything and culture and society but, you know, Herman's Hermits were part of that group of bands back in the early 60s, up until about 66 or so, or right around just before when Sgt. Pepper got released and changed the whole game. Um, they were one of a group of bands that was extremely popular. And at one point, they were one of the top three British Invasion bands in the world. I mean, along with the Beatles and the Stones. They were, like, right up there. Um, but as you know, as history wasn't kind to them, the changing musical taste and times were not kind to them. And by 67 or so, you know, bands like Herman's Hermits, you know, the Dave Clark Five, Jerry and the Pacemakers, Freddie and the Dreamers, uh, Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas, some of those other great British invasion bands just couldn't keep up with what was going on in, in the world and, and the changes, changes in music and culture, and they faded away and, and didn't have the impact they originally had. But I've always had a special place in my heart for Herman's Hermits, so I thought I'd show you some Herman's Hermit stuff and talk about the show a little bit. Um, this is one of the first CDs I ever got. I got this way back in the 80s when CDs, fir when CDs first came out, I got this CD. It's called Herman's Hermits, their greatest hits, digitally remastered from the original master recordings. One of my favorites. I, I played this thing so much. I love it. Matter of fact, it's on right now. Um, one nice thing about it was back in the late 80s when I saw the band with Barry and Leck, uh, Derek, but everyone called them Leck, Derek, Leck, Leckenby. <laughs> anyway, you're not going to be able to see this because they signed it for me way back, like I said, around 86 or so. But if you look really close over the writing there, see it? You can kind of see it. That's Barry and Lex autographs. They signed it for me and uh, Lex would be the one with the glasses here, the lead guitarist and Barry right here on top is the drummer and they signed it for me. So I really appreciate that. It's a nice memento that I've kept all these 30 plus years. Can you imagine? Okay. A DVD I recommend is this one. It's the only one I've ever seen for Herman's Hermits. It's called British Invasion Herman's Hermits Listen People 64 to 69. You get 22 complete performances, folks. You've got to get this. Um, this is a fabulous DVD. What's nice about it, as I said, is different from the anthology. The Beatles, I mean, later they came out with the One Plus package, which had all the complete videos. But remember anthology, you only got clips. Not in this. This is kind of like Herman's Hermits, the anthology. But you get the complete performances on television and on stage. It's fabulous. So check this out. Any of you fans of British Invasion or Herman's Hermits, get this, folks, while you still can. It's fabulous. And this was part of a series. I think you can get like a Dusty Springfield one, a Holly's one, 
and there might be some other bands from, from Great Britain you can get, but definitely, oh, Jerry and the Pacemakers have an edition of this, but this one, Herman's Hermits one, is fabulous. I love it. Highly recommended. The show was great. Uh, Peter came out and did um, all his big hits. He did a couple of nuggets. He's got a Cracker Jack band with him. Fabulous performance. Very gregarious, nice man. At the end of the show, the final song is A Kind of Hush. He runs through the crowd to the back of the arena or auditorium, wherever you see him, and he stays in the back at a table and meets any fan who wants to meet him. And that's how I was able to meet him recently. Uh, I've seen him twice now doing that, and once and only for privacy purposes, I've got to cover some personal information, but he signed this album for me, as you can see. Peter Noon. Um, the Best of Herman's Hermits, it's called. I can show you a, another edition of it, actually. The, mine's in really great condition. This one is a little beat up, but this is the one he signed for me. It's called The Best of Herman's Hermits. has a gatefold. It's Herman on the back. You can see it's a much, mine's in much better condition. And um, on the original, they were on the MGM label way back in the, in the day. I'll show you one of the albums. There you go. MGM. But he runs to the back, he sets up at the table, you can buy some of his wares and stuff, that's where I got this shirt, and um, he signs albums, he takes pictures with you, and what I'll do is, I sent out a com community post not too long ago with the picture with me and Peter together, so please go to my community page, my post page, whatever you call it, and you'll see a posting where I posted that picture there, I'll also put it as the main picture on this video, so you'll be able to see it for a second. But uh, I get, was able to get a picture with him this time. Last time he signed this album for me. I also have a few other Herman's Hermits albums. I have this one. Herman's Hermits, including the hit single, I'm Into Something Good, on the MGM label again. This one's a little beat up. The vinyl's in good shape, but the album's kind of beat up. Uh, so many wonderful songs, folks, from this band. Uh, I love this album. This is called uh, Herman's Hermits on Tour. It was their second album. Again, on the MGM label, and I'm not going to show you everyone, it's that same black MGM label. Great, great stuff, folks, on his albums. I mean, yeah, you have the big hits, Can't You Hear My Heartbeat, I'm Henry VIII, I Am, uh, The End of the World, Heartbeat, he does Heartbeat by Buddy Holly, which is great, uh, Silhouettes, uh, just wonderful stuff. Mrs. Brown, You Got a Lovely Daughter, I'm Into Something Good. Um, just even the, the nuggets, the like deep cuts are good on these albums. I really enjoy them. Uh, a few years ago, I want to say several years ago, kind of matching my CD like this, with that back picture of Peter on the beach there, I got this. I got a vinyl copy, which is called, Her a different cover though, Herman's Hermits, 15 Greatest Hits. Um, this would be on the APCO label. And my real prize that I've got recently that I really love is an 180 gram vinyl of this album. Again, same back picture there. It's on uh, 180 gram clear vinyl. You get 16 greatest hits. And that one I'm going to show you. Still kept in the shrink. But I just love this. I love the label on it, the way they did this whole thing. Look at this beautiful thing. You have the band picture right on the label. Nice clear vinyl. Other side's the same. Check it out. Isn't that nice? Just a nice looking piece of vinyl there. So, I, I love this band. I've been very much into them for a long time. Seen them several times without Peter. I've seen Peter in concert a couple of times. And the one most recently was just a few days ago. And he took the picture with me, which you'll see. And um, what a great guy. What a, Just wonderful music. Happy music. It's music that takes me back to my youth and makes me so happy and I just wanted to do a quick video about it for you folks, less than 10 minutes, and just say, what do you think of Herman's Hermits? Do you like them? Do you have any of their stuff? Um, if you make videos yourself, maybe you could show your Herman's Hermits. <laughs> what do you say? Okay, that's it folks. Herman's Hermits, a great band from the British Invasion era, sometimes overlooked, but they are wonderful. I truly love them and I hope you will too. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.